For the provisional cast on, you're going to need a few things. We have our working yarn. We have our needles for our project. These are 16 inch um, circular needles. We have a crochet hook of a similar size to the needles. It doesn't have to be the exact same, but it can just be around that same size. We have some scissors. We also have some smooth yarn. So this is a bamboo yarn. Something smooth is ideal just because it is a temporary place in your work. It's not going to be there forever and you do need to take it out pretty easily. So something that's not going to be catching on your project is ideal. To start, we're just gonna need our smooth yarn and our crochet hook. Let's make a little slip knot. You don't need a really long tail at all, just a little tail. Put that slip knot over your crochet hook and make about five chains. To make a chain, yarn over and pull that loop through that chain. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. That's five chains. Now we're going to bring our needle into the equation. Lay your needle right over top of your working yarn like that. And we're going to essentially do the same motion, those same chains, but around our needle now. And that's one. We're going to do that however many times you need to cast on. To do it again, you bring the yarn to the back of the needle and yarn over and pull that yarn through that chain again. So that's two, three, four, five, And you keep going until you have all of the stitches that you need, and then I'll meet you back here. All right, we're back. I've just made my very last stitch. I have 72 um, stitches here on my needle. Now I'm going to end my um, chain by making a few chains just around the hook um, and, and the yarn, not the needle this time. Last time I did five just to start. Now I'm going to do maybe about 10 to differentiate the sides so that way I know the longer side is the end. So did several there. Now I can pull that um, yarn away, give myself some room, snip it. So now I have the end here, which has a longer chain to end it. And then the beginning has just the shorter chain, just a few there. So when you compare them, you can see that one is longer and that will mean that the longer one is the end of the um, chain. And that is the start to our provisional cast on. Starting on the side with the longer tail, so the end of your, um, of your chain, we're going to work with our working yarn now. So pulling our working yarn, giving yourself a generous tail. Insert your needle into that first spot there. And then place your working yarn right over that and pull it through. And that's your first stitch. Keep going. We're just knitting all the way around. No matter what your pattern is, you do want to knit all the way around. That's part of the provisional cast on is the first um, row is a knit. Um, essentially the way that you would cast on like if you were doing a long tail cast on it they would all really be knit stitches and now I've reached the end here I am just going to smooth out my stitches along my needle now I can place my stitch marker on my left um, or on my right needle This is technically the cast on, and now I can start my pattern. So whatever I have for my pattern, um, this is going to be a two by two rib, so a knit two, purl two rib, so I can start that in pattern now. And um, starting it with a knit two, that first stitch is super loose, so you just tighten it up. And purl two. 
tighten it too. Pearl too. And so on and so forth. And reaching the end of my very first round there of my pattern, I'm just going to take a little bit of inventory, making sure that nothing is coming undone here. And especially since I didn't use a solid join method, I want to make sure that my um, tail isn't going anywhere. And I can keep going.